In this update, we're going to drop some math on you, but don't worry, it won't hurt. In fact, at the end of all, you're going to feel real good. Aloha. My name is Brian Murphy, and I am the Director of Maui County Citizens for Democracy in Action. Our recent updates have focused on the agricultural aspects of our Family Farmer Preservation Act. This segment is all about the numbers. The first number is 10. How about a 10% tax on medical marijuana to benefit our schools? Think of this 10% tax as we run through all the other numbers. First, the fine print. These calculations are drawn from conservative estimates based on many years of serving Maui's medical marijuana community. We are not math wizards, so we try to lean on the side of caution. Your mileage may vary. Currently, Maui County has about 1,000 medical marijuana patients. About 20% of these patients need about an ounce of medicine a month. About 80% of these patients need about four ounces a month. Using this 80-20 rule, Maui County alone needs 3,400 ounces of medical marijuana every month, or times 12, 40,800 ounces every year to provide for existing licensed patients. Medical grade marijuana will range from $150 to $300 an ounce. At $250 an ounce, Maui's annual needs adds up to 10,200,000 in taxable revenue a 10% tax would generate over $1 million for our students and teachers. Still with me? The next part is easy. The state of Hawaii has about 5,000 licensed patients. If we use the same 80-20 figures, all we have to do is multiply Maui County's numbers by five. Over $5 million for Hawaii schools. Keep in mind that these numbers do not include the contribution our visitors can make. By providing licensed mainland visitors with safe access to medicine while on vacation here, our reciprocity ordinance will add even more to our underfunded education budgets. Back to the math. In 2008, we counted 6.7 million visitors. In 2007, it was more like 7.5 million. If only 1% of 5 million visitors required medicine during their vacation here, the same $250 an ounce adds up to $12.5 million in taxable revenue. That's $1.25 million more for our children's future. Now add to these numbers the increase we will see in licensed cardholders, once the cannabis inquisition ends, and in tourism, once visitors can feel medically safe here. Plus taxes earned from concentrates, edibles, vaporizers, plants, clones, GE tax from the farmers, worker comp tax, on and on. This first full year of operation could collect as much as $10 million for our school system, all from a 10% tax on medical marijuana. Our Family Farmer Preservation Act will create many different economic benefits, and we'll examine more of those later. We just wanted to start out with one that we could all agree on, taxes. Mahalo.